Hello, hello, welcome to a wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and Space Engineers. How long has it been? It's been, what, nine years since I've last recorded in Space Engineers. And I know I've said that twice now, that uh, the name of the game, the video that you've, you've come to watch. Who knows how many people I've lost with just doing what I'm doing right now, but that's fine because I find with Space Engineers, it's a very niche group of people anyways. And yeah, so... Let's jump right in. I recorded this last in 2014. I did a bunch of stuff with my brother, the Lushable Echo, back then. And now, in 2023, just to, to check the game out, there's been some DLC that have happened recently that have caught my attention of the game. There was the automations that kind of brought me back into watching the game. Then there was the Warfare update. Now the, the 10th year anniversary pack that they released. Uh, so I guess for people who want to support the game, which is crazy. It's amazing and yeah and so let's just dive right in i've been playing with a set of mods for this run that i want to kind of highlight and show everybody and for me it's made the game kind of a little exciting again it's given me a reason to to create the things that you can create in the game and yeah and so let's hear let's talk a little bit about space engineers while this is loading because uh, i did a little bit of research just to kind of you know put some informational content i guess but space engineers is a voxel based sandbox game developed and published by czech independent developer keen software house in 2013 the initial developmental release of the game joined the steam early access program during the following years of active development space engineers sold over 1 million units in total as of 2019 the game has sold over three and a half million copies in may 2015 for approximately a year and a half the game's source code was officially available and maintained by key software house to assist the modding community on december 15, 2016, the game entered beta and was later officially released on January 28th, 2019. Crazy. And here we are, you know, October 2023, and we are back into this game. We'll see what kind of changes there are. I've been playing around with this with like a set of mods, like I've said, uh, and yeah, and I found it interesting. And, and I played to a point where I feel I want to start again and, and do YouTube videos about it uh, just because it, it makes sense. It gives me some motivation to kind of create things a little bit better and, and to put a little bit more work into things. And so, yeah, and so, so this is what you get. <laughs> uh, the game was released you know, officially, as we know, in February 20, 2019 for Windows, uh, Xbox One, it was April 15th, 2020, and PlayStation 4, it was May 11th, 2023. So yeah, so there we go. Uh, so the plan I had was to, to create a set of mods. Let's get out of the game here and I'll kind of show you what the mods are. And we'll save the changes before quitting, of course. So yeah, so let's go load game. Let's go edit settings. And I'm going to kind of just talk through the mods here to kind of tell you how they, they change the experience. So we have the modular encounter systems, which this is the one that kind of redoes all of the spawns you know, around you, kind of scales up the spawns. So as you, as you progress, then, then you'll have more difficult you know, encounters. The same idea with this encounters reborn i think it taps into this encounter system so this is why this is first and then we have this one encounters reborn uh you, then what i've added is abandoned settlements so what that does is that'll create various settlements that you can go and harvest and loot from i've added in victims of clang which is at night time when the conditions are right it spawns these kind of zombies which is kind of fitting for for october 2023 um i put in the sensible meteor storm mod i don't mind the meteor storms but i think they come at a get a high frequency on normal so this will extend that time i think it makes it from around 18 minutes to 30 minutes to me that that makes more sense um, i don't mind the meteor storms but having a lot of them isn't really i don't know it's not very good. We have the animation engine, which is a dependency for the cockpits reanimated, which is pretty cool. It's just a neat little, it's not necessary, but it, it just makes it look good. But the plant and cook mod and the eat, drink, sleep, repeat mod. So these kind of work together. 
this is an enhancement for this one but it has to be first before this one this is that whole those your three extra bars that you saw that that were added the damage spawn ships this would be good for running with all of you as to what location at the end of this video i'm basically going to ask all the viewers to decide the fate for the next video which means which drop do you want me to do and i don't care i'll do any of them i've done a couple of them and i think i've got a grasp on the game to where that doesn't matter there's the off scrap mod which basically you scrap whenever you you grind down components um, and you want to scrap them you normally you would get the components out of them uh, this forces you to throw the components into a refinery so that way then it can turn it into raw materials and then you can craft stuff from it so it's kind of like an extra step you can't just you grind down the things and then use that all that right away i find it progresses the game really quickly and it speeds you up you know i don't mind the grind i don't mind a game that's grindy and that you have to go and do stuff and you have to mine for a bit and then you come back and then you use up your resources and you go do other things there's kind of this this whole pattern that emerges out of you playing the game and so so you know, all these i find just enhance that experience right uh so i added in these lifted wheel suspensions just because there's no real lifted wheels in the game that i've noticed from what i've seen there's wheels but you have to create these weird things to lift them up so this at least is a little bit different it's a, it's a set of wheels they all seem to work as long as you have the dlc this is the jetpack nerf which basically changes characters.spc file so i find this nerf like perfect like the jetpack is perfect you can use it in atmosphere but then it's very dangerous if you go like want to fly and travel with it like how you could do it with the jetpack but then it becomes more of a skill thing so that you still can and the risk is just higher so it's kind of cool this advanced welding it is basically detaching and attaching blocks and and a weld pad so, so basically you can like detach like batteries from like a ship and then attach it to your own ship and use it right away there's stuff like that that you can do which is pretty amazing this build vision is good it basically adds like uh you can interact with your blocks some of these blocks that you build are turned on or off and so it's really convenient to just be able to look at the block and turn it on or off right away instead of having going into a, a control panel and finding the item and doing it that way that's just kind of too so this is more of a quality of life thing uh the cockpit's reanimated quality of life just looks neat and i added the lightning rod just because you know you can create a decoy to attract lightning but it just looks boring it's just a decoy so so lightning rods an actual lightning rod you build which does the same thing so which is kind of cool and yeah so those are the mods that i find that make the game a little more hardcore-ish um, a little more challenging and hopefully all of you or or some of you or whoever will want to try this list of mods as well well it's right here it's also going to be in the description below because that's kind of where i do stuff and yeah and now i just want to go over the same uh, the settings of the game so what's going to happen in the actual live game and with the location that you all choose is the inventory size the character is going to stay the same this is going to stay the same i like the realistic uh, setting because it's amazing this stuff though i find they still go too fast so i'm almost going to make them uh, like slower for welding and grinding speed definitely i think i'm going to do that the environment hostility i had it on safe because i didn't want to deal with any meteors and stuff but basically we're going to have that on normal for the actual game uh what else are we going to do here and all of these settings are kind of basic, and so I haven't really played with them. I have block limits enabled. I'm not sure what that means. So I leave it until I encounter somewhere in the game where I can't. Maybe that you know, these are the encounter, the block limits because there's nothing set. Maybe just the PCU. You know, this I can increase. I do have a decent computer to run Space Engineers because it's 2023. Turned off auto healing because of the food system that helps you heal. You don't delete spawn ship, of course show player names reset ownership permanent death cargo ships so this is kind of like the scripts that are set that you would set the only other interesting ones um, yeah okay no i think we have everything the reason the spiders and stuff are turned off it's because that that encounter system handles it but that was the changes would be the welding speed was going to be slower now a lot of this just affects my gameplay and not really your viewing pleasure because i think a lot of the times in space engineers i'll be showing you in the first initial episodes kind of the boring stuff then that will disappear and everything will reduce to cuts and we'll just cut it all down and i'm going to record a length of video 
and then cut it down so it's a lot less and I'm going to try and keep the videos targeted yeah and then as well I'm going to try and give the viewers a way of, of deciding the fate of the game so let's get to I'm just going to go for new game just to kind of show the places that we can spawn in and and I'm going to leave the vote to all of you to decide where I should start it's just it has to load in ah here we go so these are the starting locations that you can choose uh spacesuit is a no-go and where it puts you I have no idea this would be kind of interesting but i'm not doing that kind of run but these are all the places you can choose any of these and it won't it won't matter to me i've dropped on a bunch of these locations and i've got it figured out so i'll, I'll leave it up to you the the people that you vote for the most so like if two people vote this and one person votes that and whatever then i'll pick the one that has the highest vote obviously and otherwise thank you for watching i appreciate you watching this video it's been nine years oh, and here we are we're back at it you know we're back into playing i look forward to to doing the next to video and the cadence of these will be about once a week uh, just because in between the videos i'll be doing the grinding and all the stuff that's very boring so you don't have to see it um, anything exciting will be recorded in those periods of time but mainly though it's you're going to have the gist of things really quickly after the first video that i do so so yeah so thank you everybody for watching and i will see you in the next one